All right, now we're going to generate a plot. We have our Mustang red damage data, we have our Mustang green damage data, and we took the uh, combined damage and brought them over to a new spreadsheet and also attached the frequency to it. So let us select the uh, data that we want to compare, like so, and that will go down to uh, uh, 2000 hertz. Here we go just about to the end and I select them this way because there is some stuff at the bottom we don't want to include that in the chart now what we're going to do is insert a uh, chart and it's going to be what's called a scatter chart so that's this guy right here if we pick that uh, we see let's see red damage green damage uh, and frequency that's uh, I want uh, I want uh, that one which has the frequency on the uh, x-axis and then just red and green damage. So we pick that guy and that is uh, what it looks like. Now it's a little hard to read because it's kind of scrunched up. What we want to do is take a look at the uh, scales logarithmically. So let's fix fix those up by double click on the axes. Uh, go to text option, axes options. You can see there's a logarithmic option there and I can do the same uh, on the uh, bottom get okay the axis is right here double click on that let's make this guy logarithmic also Gotta click on it just right there it is I want this text option axis options logarithmic like that alright so there it is our chart with the uh, X and Y X being frequency, Y being damage, and you can see the two comparisons. Uh, let's uh, take a look. I think what I'd like to do is make the uh, the chart have the lines instead of the dots. So what we can do is change chart type to perhaps this guy. What does that look like? There we go. So now we have a blue line and a red line. Uh, the red damage is the blue line. That's a little confusing, so let's let's fix that too. I think we can do that this way. Um, pick the uh, axes, and then uh, we can get the color by I think a paint function here. Yes, that is. Uh, I think I'm on the green one right now. I'm not sure, so let me click out. Okay, this is. Uh, the green one it's the red line is the green one so let's make it green less confusing and this blue line we're going to make that actually be the red one so now we have the red and the green and you can see the uh, red Mustang has more damage uh, just about across the board except in this frequency range right here from oh probably uh, can look put the cursor right on it 21 Hertz to 27 Hertz and then we have some problems out here from where the green Mustang is more damaging from this point 725 Hertz to 2000 Hertz so you can get a comparison and that way you can uh, extrapolate the, the, export the data plot it and see uh, how the damages compare